After you have logged into the Motor Carrier Services Internet, select the IRP function. Select the IRP account associated with your renewal. A fleet synopsis will appear below with the list of both active and inactive fleets. Select the fleet associated with the renewal. Select the Renewal button. The message that displays below may change according to your specific account and fleet. Select the Proceed button. The pre-renewal summary screen shows your account information as well as your vehicle information. The amount of specific vehicle types will be shown here. You also have the option to download a PDF file of your fleet vehicles. Select the Continue button. In the fleet screen, you have the option to update your insurance information or your carrier type. If the information shown is correct, select Continue. The address screen will show your physical and mailing address as well as your contact information. You have the option to edit your mailing address or your contact information here. If all the information is up to date, select Continue. The mileage screen is where you will report your mileage. If you do not have actual miles, select no in the do you have actual miles drop down. This will automatically use the estimated miles for billing. If you have mileage to report, select yes. Here you have the option to add jurisdictions one at a time, or you can show all jurisdictions at once by selecting the show all jurisdictions button. To add a jurisdiction, select the state from the drop-down and select the Add button. Enter your mileage for each jurisdiction. Please note that the total miles entered will automatically populate according to the data provided above. The total miles reporting field will need to match the total miles entered field in order to proceed. If it does not match, you will see the error message below. After you've entered all your mileage, select the Next button. Vehicle updates for the renewal can be added at the vehicle screen. If you have between 100 and 300 vehicles, you have the option to do a manual entry or an upload. If you would like to do a manual entry, please refer to the small carrier manual video. If you would like to do an upload, please select the upload button. Please note that if you have over 300 vehicles, you will only have the option for an upload. Before updating your vehicles, refresh your vehicle data by selecting the Refresh button. This refreshes to the latest information and updates the renewal data file to the current date, which brings in any changes done in the previous registration period. Please note that after selecting Confirm, the process cannot be undone and the vehicles will be refreshed. After refreshing, you can download the vehicle information using the download button. Select a download file and open the spreadsheet. For detailed information on each transaction code, please refer to your manual. Please note that if you need to delete any vehicles, 
do not erase information from the spreadsheet. Simply change the transcode to D. By hovering over the transcode, you will see the different options available to you. For any updates, make sure you are updating the transcode in the specific row for the vehicle. In this instance, I'm going to make an error so I can demonstrate what an error looks like and how to correct it afterward. I'm going to change the plate number so that it's too long. So I will change my transcode to C for this vehicle. And then I will update my plate number information. After you've made any changes to your vehicle, select the Save button. And then close the spreadsheet. Select the Upload button. And navigate to the file that was just saved. The file will appear in your downloads folder. You can also check the date modified to ensure that you're uploading the spreadsheet that you just saved. Select the upload button. Do not refresh or close the browser while uploading. Please also do not select the back button. Here is an example of what an upload summary will look like. If there are any errors, you will see that here. You also have three options for the errors. You can fix them manually, download the errors, or skip the errors. Please note that if you select the skip errors option, all vehicles with errors will be deleted from the renewal. Fixing the errors manually will take you to another screen in the system without using an additional spreadsheet. In this example, I'm going to download the errors. Open the spreadsheet that downloads. In this spreadsheet, you will only see the errors that were made during the upload. Since I'm changing my errors, I'm going to leave the transcode at C. Please note, if you need to see a detailed error message, navigate to the last column of the spreadsheet. As you can see, the plate number is too long. I'm going to update the spreadsheet with the correct information, and then save. After closing the spreadsheet, I will navigate back up to the Upload Error Fixes button. And I'll select the file that I just saved. Again, this file should be in your Downloads folder, and you could use the Date Modified column to ensure that you're uploading the current file. Select the Upload button. Now you'll see there are zero errors on the renewal update. Select the Next button. In the review screen, you will see a vehicle summary. You also have the option to download the summary. Please read the statement in the Bill Summary section and select the checkbox. Select Calculate Bill. Do not refresh or close your browser or use your back button while we're processing the bill. After your bill is done calculating, you will see options for payment at the bottom of the screen, as well as the option to download a detailed bill. You can download the detailed bill by selecting the Excel or PDF option. You can also view the bill. 
After selecting your option for payment, please follow the transaction billing process in your manual. Thank you.